there are special interests in their child, youth development, women development advocacy, campaign against gender-based violence, and medical education. The organization started operations earlier this year, and it's quite shocking that most of the petitions submitted is based on girl child refinement and gender-based violence issues. Before going into details, the organization would like to remind the general public that with the recent outbreak of coronavirus, please let us all remember to wash our hands frequently, avoid overcrowded areas, leave it the way we touch our face and mouth and nose, and use hand sanitizers. Most importantly, stay at home to stay safe. The organization received petitions from different periods, ranging from neighbors defiling minors, school to child defiling police, and road issues. The organization is quite disturbed and wishes to let the general public understand that there is a need to make sure that we create a safe environment for the girl child. I think the abuse of a minor is one of the pervasive violations of human rights in the world and one of the least most accepted crimes and one of the greatest threats to lasting peace and development. We all know that we have to do much more to respond to the cries for justice of these abused children who have suffered abuse. We have to do much more. We have to do much more in this horrible abuse and impunity that allows these human rights violations to continue. I think we cannot agree that the time for complacency is long gone and belongs to another era. The silence on abuse of children has been broken and now, now is the time for stronger action. The effects of violations can remain with children for a lifetime and can pass from one generation to another. Studies show that children who have witnessed or been subjected to abuse are more likely to become victims or abusers themselves. Violence against children is extreme manifestation of gender inequality and systematic gender based on discrimination. The right of children to be free of violence depends on the protection of their human rights and stop the chain of justice. So we will advise that uh, parents and uh, guardian, teachers, school owners should do much more to protect our children. Thank you. Studies have shown that one in four young girls are subjected to sexual molestation before the age of 18. This is worrisome. Personally, I have daughters, and I wouldn't want a situation whereby my children can all walk the street free without fear that one uncle somewhere, one neighbor somewhere will want to touch them wrongly. Sexual molestation can range from physical touching all the way to penetration, and the effect is long lasting. It can last from a young age that's physical injury all the way to neurological disorders in the future. Some of these children may become suicidal. Now, it is our role as parents to make sure we watch out for these children. We cannot continue to sit back and think that stigma will eventually catch up with them. I have heard of situations whereby parents do not want to report of any kind of stimulation, sexual stimulation against their children because they are afraid of what the effects might be later in the future. It is time to speak out. We cannot just sit back and think it will go away. What if this thing affects these children later in the future? What if their fertility is compromised? What if these children are not even able to say anything? What if they are suicidal? Let us think, let us act. In this period that our children are at home, please, fathers, mothers, let us all watch out for our children. That neighbor that is saying hello and making your child sit on his lap, please watch out for him. That brother that is being overly close to your child, please watch out for him. Watch out for signs. Check out if your children are crying. Every whim, every whimper, every shout, every scream is a message from your child. We do not know what it means. So make sure you listen. We are the first line of defense in this situation. And we need to act and we need to act now. Thank you. petition submitted to our office, particularly as it relates to the abuse of girl child. The six year old girl was molested by her neighbor. While another, in another place, the seven year old girl was molested by her class teacher. Surprisingly, however, the school authority on that who scared this seven year old girl was, was molested by our class teacher. Unite with the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Court, Kuala State Command, to arrest and detain the father of the girl child under the allegation that the father threatened to get the school closed down by the authorities. As if that was not enough, 
the early 72 hours after the release of the self and father from the custody of the NSCBC, the proprietor of the school filed a direct criminal complaint against the father at the upper area court on the father's allegation of threats to life and defamation. This is a serious case of perversion of course of justice. It is, it is worrisome. It is a worrisome case that a journalist was equally arraigned in the court of law along with the father of the dead child. Discussion with one of the teachers in the school shows that the issue of the abuse of the dead child has been trivialized by the school authority. If I may quote one of the teachers, it was the issue of it wasn't the issue of rape, rather the girl was killed. We are the grand we are the grand child TV development in commitment to fight against the abuse of the child in Guara State and the country at large. I am calling on the Guara State government to reach into this menace of the abuse of the child. We are equally calling on the Guara State government to review the child rights law of Guara State as it relates to the punishment for the abuse of the child and the time frame in which the offender is prosecuted as well as the civil remedy available for the abuse of the child. Long live Grand Charity Group Development, long live Guara State and long live Federal Thank you.